So the whole idea was to learn, can we do Anno on console from a gameplay point of view, from a technical point of view, and from an operational point of view. When we did our dev streams for um, the, the Anno DLCs or general Anno streams, we always saw comments um, from people that kind of wished that Anno 1800 was coming to consoles. And the cool part was that we were also exploring in that direction. And after we saw what um, the next-gen consoles um, can deliver, we truly felt that Anno 1800 is possible in consoles, and so we started working on that. Going on console was kind of like the logical next step, I think. We could finally actually create uh, uh, a new experience that is not like uh, slimmed down or, or like simplified. So it's a full Anno experience basically on console and that's what the new console allows us to do basically. We had to radically reduce the memory consumption so it would actually run on the consoles. I think the main difference is simply how you control the game because you need to have a controller. And since you are playing in the living room, uh, we need to create a UI that is actually readable from a distance. There were some cases where it felt like we didn't have enough buttons for our controllers. It was kind of a struggle having 51 buttons and here 16. On the console, we narrowed it down to more specific modes and only give you the controls that you need in that uh, uh, current context. One of the important aspects in the game is the minimap uh, that you always have in the corner and on PC. You can just move your mouse and click on the minimap. It's easy, right? But on the controller, you couldn't do that. So we had to create a new menu just to open full screen the minimap. And so you have suddenly all the information that are visible from, from the couch in the living room. And we can see all the ships. We can see everything and we can interact and teleport. It was creating something new from something that was already existing. So we had already um, a guideline, we had a design, you know, a structure, and you had to take this structure and just make it make magic, you know, and make it functional and work for something completely different that is the, uh, the controller. And that part was, was very fun. We actually explored doing Anno 1800 on the last generation of consoles, but at that time it was determined that the horsepower just simply wasn't there. I think one of the things that's surprising about Anno that people don't understand is that um, you know, the graphics and the scale of it is one thing, but underneath the hood is actually an incredibly complex economic simulation that requires a significant amount of computational power. And this is something I didn't understand when I first got here. And this is actually the holdup. So the memory limitations for the last generation of consoles and the computational power of the last generation simply wasn't enough to handle Anno. You have to know that Easter eggs are just implemented and Basically, not everybody knows about it uh, in the dev team. So if you explore your cities, um, you run into some funny stuff uh, at some point. Ah, oh, there is a creepy girl in one of the house. <laughs> like, when you realize that she's looking at you through the window with her eyes, it's just like super creepy. Like, that was really surprising to me, yeah. We actually sometimes check subreddits and see if some e sex have been already found, and then we always uh, write that or talk about it here in the office. So it's always quite a fun experience when we finally see somebody finding uh, ESEC that hasn't been found before. What? A first person move? Um, no. The whole project has been kind of amazing to work on and um, a lot of people were skeptical when it was like, I know 1800 and console, how will it work? So to prove that it's possible, it's kind of super rewarding. It really feels like it's meant to be on console now and not just a cheap port. It's the first experience for console players with the brand and it's just really cool um, to, to, to get them the, the first introduction of, of Anno 1800. The team has done an outstanding job in uh, importing Anno to the consoles and so uh, the game plays well, it works well. It, from a technical and from a gameplay point of view, they've uh, exceeded expectations on this front. Actually, I'm also very proud of the job that all my colleagues did. So. I think that we should be proud of everything. <laughs>